Hello, welcome to a top 10 list of the most venomous spiders in the world, 2023 edition. Number 10. Yellow Sack Spider. This small spider hails from the United States of America, Mexico, and South America just over half an inch in leg span. They have large fangs able to pierce human skin. The venom is a cytotoxin, which can cause necrosis or cell death. Cytotoxicity is the quality of being toxic to cells, but this does not occur in all cases. There are some worse pictures of bites from this spider online, but I will not show that in this video, so if you want to check, do a Google search. For the most part, however, the bites will be fairly mild, with symptoms of pain, redness and swelling surrounding the bite area, with further complications to an allergic reaction being necrosis or cell death. For the most part, however, studies have shown that the spider is not significantly venomous, so there is nothing to worry about, it is mostly a myth. You still want to use an air of caution if you find these spiders, just scoop them up under a glass and release them outside. Number 9 Brown Widow Spider This slightly smaller relative of the Black Widow still has the hourglass marking and still possesses very potent venom which is reportedly twice as strong as the Black Widow's venom but they don't make as much of it or inject as much venom so are considered less dangerous. This is an invasive species found all over the world, but is believed to originate from South America. Also tied for this spot is the Catapo from New Zealand. It's the equivalent of the Brown Widow with a similar venom payload, but because of the prevalence of the Brown Widow, I've decided to choose that one for this spot. Symptoms of the bites from this family of spiders produces increased blood pressure, hypertension, seizures, and in worst cases, a coma, known collectively as lactrodectism. Number 8 Brown Recluse Spider This infamous spider from the United States of America is only half an inch in leg span, but the venom is very potent and can cause necrosis. Other names are the violin or fiddle spider, as you can see here in the image. Because it is so widespread, this species is responsible for a lot of bites, especially when someone is sleeping, feels an itch and goes to press down on the spider, squishing it and resulting in a bite. Because of its smaller size, bites are actually quite rare, because they fail to break the skin. Seven. Chilean Recluse Spider like its American cousin, the Chilean recluse spider is pretty much exactly the same, except for the venom is reportedly much more deadly. In fact, it's the deadliest in the genus. Being not quite as widespread, bites are a lot more rare. Number 6 The Redback Now we're getting to the real heavy hitters. Australia's equivalent of the Black Widow from the States is almost as venomous. Bites will usually result in pain, sweating, vomiting, muscle twitching and difficulty breathing. But symptoms can be much worse. Number 5 The Black Widow Spider Perhaps the most notorious venomous spider known with its characteristic red hourglass marking. Its maximum size is up to 1 to 2 inches in leg span. Hailing from the United States of America. Take all the symptoms from the red back spider and amplify them. Number 4 The Mouse Spider 
This chunky bulbous spider from Australia is the equivalent of a spider dinosaur, being primitive in the way that its fangs are laid out, the same as tarantulas. This spider is reminiscent of another large funnel web from Australia, but it has slightly less significant venom. Still though, the venom compounds are very similar. Miglomorph spiders lift the body upwards to strike at prey, aiming downwards with two dagger-like fangs, so the quantity of venom injected is more than the Araneomorph spiders, which are on this list. Normal spiders' fangs work together like pincers, whereas these spiders strike downwards with two hydraulic needles, slamming into prey like sledgehammers. It's hard to say whether or not the venom is more severe than the previous entry in this list, but there's not enough people bitten by this spider, and it is generally hidden underground. The maximum leg span of this spider is 2 to 2.5 two inches. Curiously enough, in about half of the cases a dry bite was inflicted, meaning no venom was injected. The venom is a neurotoxin which acts on nerve signals to the brain, so it's something very dangerous if injected in sufficient quantities. Number 3 Six-Eyed Sand Spider this medium-sized spider hails from South Africa, in deserts and other sandy places. It is potentially the most dangerous spider on this list, with only two bite reports known. The venom is a hemolytic, which means it acts on the blood cells, breaking them down. One person lost an arm to necrosis, and the other died of massive hemorrhaging. This spider has a curious trait of hiding itself under the sand, as you can see in this picture here. It is generally considered as non-aggressive, but some enthusiasts in the spider keeping hobby keep them. There is currently no anti-venom available for this spider. Number two. The Brazilian Wandering Spider. There's some controversy between this and the number one spider on this list as to which is the most venomous. Studies have shown that this spider has the most potent venom of all Earth spiders but it just injects it in a smaller amount than the number one on this list. So for that reason it is number two. This is a huge spider, five to seven inches in leg span. Symptoms of the bite occur within 10 to 20 minutes after an envenomation and death within two to six hours if not seeking treatment. The bite is said to be severely painful and there is a host of symptoms I will flash on the screen. A secondary complication is priapism, which can lead to a painful erection lasting for hours and resulting in impotence from system damage. Interestingly enough, in a lot of the bite reports, it has inflicted a dry bite, which means no venom is injected. Number one. The Sydney Funnelweb Spider. The number one spot, this huge Miglomorph spider, has fangs three quarters of an inch long, up to a maximum size of three inches in leg span. It's found in Sydney, Australia, up to the central northern coast. A lot of studies have shown that it's actually the smaller male that is the more dangerous of the two, possessing venom supposedly two to five times as strong as the females. Those huge fangs are strong enough to pierce a fingernail, and you can see by the picture just how much venom is injected as it's dripping off the end of the fangs. This is what makes it the most dangerous spider, the sheer amount of venom injected. Besides the host of horrific symptoms from the bites shown on the screen, it can kill in as early as 15 minutes after a bite. The bite is said to be excruciatingly painful, but with all the other symptoms. As previously mentioned, it is mostly the males that are more dangerous. You are likely never to encounter a female because they hide in silk line retreats. But the males go searching for females and wind up in people's shoes searching for shelter. That's how most of the bite reports have happened. A true toe biter. Just be thankful that this spider only occurs in Australia. Well, that's going to be it for this top 10. I hope you enjoyed. And just as a final aside, there are many spiders in the wild that have not had their venom tested, especially the trapdoor family. is known to have very prominent venom, but as they spend all their time in silken retreats with a trapdoor, you're never going to encounter them. Now, guys, also, there's the possibility that there is even more venomous spiders yet to be discovered in the wild. So only time will tell if this list stays true. But for 2023, this is about the best that I could come up with. Thank you for watching and please consider hitting the notification bell and subscribing to the channel for all future updates on spiders and all things exotic animals. Until next time, take care.